I have notoriously been disorganized about gardening over the years and I'm really, it's one of my resolutions, I'm really trying to be more methodical about it, more strategic and far more organized and efficient. So here's a couple of tips um, and ideas that you might find helpful too. They have helped me. I've talked about it before and that's having a lightweight gardening table that I just basically keep prepped with all of the things I'm going to be using in the garden, whether it's in the front yard or the backyard. A lot of times I don't even put this stuff away. I just keep it on the driveway with everything I know I'm going to be using in the not too distant future. That keeps me from having to relocate them over and over again and I know exactly where to look to find my full bottle of insecticidal soap um, or whatever I'm using for that day. The other thing in terms of garden prep that I've tried to get better about is having some spray sunscreen on because I, being out in the sun all the time, I really get lots of sun damage and I'm trying to be better about protecting my skin. So I love spray sunscreen. I keep it with the rest of my gardening products that way, if I forget to put it on inside, I can put it on outside. It's right there, I can grab it. If I need to use bug spray, I will also keep that at hand. And also a pair of gardening gloves. So that's just a little, a little tip. Now, some other things, because you guys ask so many questions about my gardening attire. So here's an example of the kind of thing I work in the garden with. Um, this shirt, it, I got it at Goodwill, I think, but it's cool. I like it. Um, if it gets dirty and mucked up, I don't care about it. Um, but nevertheless, I, I like it. You don't, I sometimes, like you, look completely uh, unpresentable when I work in the garden, but sometimes it's fun to put on a cheerier, uh, a cheerier top. So I got this at Goodwill. These pants, they're kind of a cargo pant, pants that have lots of of pockets. I got these years ago at Charlotte Russe, I think, and I, I bet I've had them 10 years, and they're eminently practical for working in the garden. And if I can find them online, I will put a link to these garden boots. I love them because see how easily I can get in and out of them? They've got a broad top. I don't have to loosen the laces but I don't even have to touch them to get in and out of them. So when I go in the house, obviously I don't want to spread all of uh, manure and all of the mess from the garden into the house. I can easily take them off. I'll put some links at the bottom to some of my favorite boot companies that I have gotten boots with over the years. I have a whole wardrobe of them. Um, and in fact, one day, Stuart, you and I, we were going to do kind of just nothing but showing all of my different kind of boots and how I like to wear them. I'm really not a clothes horse, uh, but I do love garden boots and I wear all of them. So hopefully there are a few tips. Um, oh, one other thing. I normally in the dead of summer like to wear a hat outside that actually has sunscreen in it, a straw hat or something. It's too windy today so I don't have that on and a good pair of sunglasses is an absolute must for me and it also kind of protects your eyes from anything um, that might blow into them. The other day I got something in my eye, I did not have sunglasses on. So I now know to be very good about protecting my eyes as well as my skin when I'm out, um, when I'm out in the garden. I am going to show you guys in another video, here's a tease, some of my favorite power tools, some of my other favorite kind of utensils and things that I like to have when I work in the garden. So garden prep makes you more efficient. It makes you less intimidated about getting done what you need to get done. And if you just um, tr try to channel your inner Girl Scout and be prepared, you will find that working in the garden is a lot less onerous. So just a few tips.